Welcome to the 2021 Manitou Days Parade, celebrating bears together. Brought to you by White Bear Events. Hi, I'm J.P. Baroni. And I'm Joyce Harley. It's so good to be with you. We're so happy to be back after having a summer off that maybe we didn't volunteer to have off, but it happened nevertheless. Thank you for joining us for the best summer parade in Minnesota. Yes, local businesses and organizations, clowns. Oh, and many great musical groups. They're all on hand with a lot of volunteers and eager to help get the show started. Oh, it's going to be wonderful to get together. We have a great group here, JP, yeah. that is forming. They put their chairs out very early, in fact. And oh. right now, first representatives, including veterans from the American Legion and VFW, are here presenting our nation's colors. Please stand as the important groups and our American flag pass by. White Bear Lake, still serving veterans, troops, and community. And... Uh, they are saying, they're telling us that their VFW is open for you to come in and enjoy the lake. I love the applause from the audience yeah, as the good. flags are going by. Spontaneous and everyone is standing. All the volunteers which is the theme. Well, this is VFW uh, 1782 on White Bear Lake, represented by Post Commander George Brown and Auxiliary President Mike Bush. The VFW patio, restaurant, and bar are open to the public. Stop in, enjoy the view. Next is Barry Hendrickson and wife Chris, VFW Post 1782 life member and White Bear Lake graduate. Class of 1981. Barry Hendrickson was just installed as the VFW state commander and will serve in that position for the next year. Congratulations, Barry. Those sirens that we're hearing right now can only mean one thing. The White Bear Lake Fire Department is making their way into the parade. Joining them tonight are members of your White Bear Lake City Council. White Bear Events is grateful to the city for their ongoing partnership and support of Manitou Days. Yep, there I see we have our uh, city council members and our mayor, Mayor Joe Emerson, Doug Bean. We've got Bill Walsh, we got Kevin Edberg, we have Stephen Engs Engs from there. We've got uh, our local government representative, and next we have uh, the, white, the fire department and the rest of the city services that we are so familiar with here. And so grateful to. <laughs> yes, very much. And they're uh, handing out candy, which is all part of the parade uh, for children and adults, I might add. <laughs> yes. So far we have our bubble gum, but we're not going to chew it while we're supposed to be announcing the parade. Is that and correct? And I hope they don't <laughs> throw it at us, because those can be real little pellets. <laughs> It. I've experienced that in past parades. <laughs> it happens. Uh, it's a generous spirit, but projectiles can be dangerous. But no, it's amazing. We have our fire and uh, local police always in the community, uh, really helping make the community better for everyone. And we so appreciate their efforts and their attitudes and uh, making us feel safe and protected. So as you can see, everyone here, we've got the perfect weather for the parade today. And the turnout is great because, well, there wasn't a parade last year, and there is a pent-up desire. <laughs> uh, we had Market Fest uh, on Thursday night, which we'll have for the rest of the summer. And I can tell you, uh, last night, first Market Fest was uh, a massive turnout. Uh, people want to get together. And as my mother pointed out, you not only get to see faces, you get to see smiles. Yes. Uh, for a yes. year, we didn't get to see that. Ex so absolutely. we are very appreciative. Yeah. Well, it looks like we have more fire department representatives coming up here. Oh, and yes. Well, it looks like they gave the candy and then had a big gap here, so in case anybody needed any uh, paramedic protection from too much sugar, <laughs> they're coming up to take care of it. <laughs> Very good. Well, we'll enjoy our candy after the fact. Yeah. So we can keep telling the folks what they're seeing here. But we're seeing the White Bear Lake Fire Department, the paramedics, and it's nice to see them in a parade rather than the front of your house. But if you need them, you're so grateful that they're at your home when you need them. And I notice all the paramedic drivers do have their candy in their mouth. So they are, do they uh, really? they are taste <laughs> testing. I've seen, suck, I've seen lollipops uh, <laughs> consistently among our paramedics. Uh, so You're they right. are, that, they that, are safety and taste testing all of that. the candy. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure you are, they're going to sacrifice the calories for you yeah. to make sure you're safe. 
And then big rigs from the White Bear Lake Fire Department. Yeah, and, and it is amazing. What a display. Oh my goodness. To see this the different, different styles, different types. You mm -hmm. think of all the different equipment that needs to be stored in here and all the training uh, that it takes to make that split second decision of what to break out and what to use. And as you know, White Bear Lake Fire Department serves the city of White Bear Lake, but also White Bear Township, Birchwood, Delwood, and Gem Lake. So it serves a broad area outside of the city limits. Well, they're beautiful rigs and costly rigs. And oh. look at how shiny they are. Yeah. They're well cared for. <laughs> and uh, we have a reason to be proud of this White Bear Lake Fire Department. Well, and my cousin was a volunteer back and in here's Montana. Hugo, and here's Hugo, by the way. You spend yeah. all your time polishing because you always met it polished. And Hugo came in to help out. And every year we get a parade of different fire departments willing to show united support to Lionel illustrate Lakes they back each here. other up. Yeah. Here comes Lionel Lakes. Mm -hmm. And of course, I live in Hugo. You see at Hugo and, and Lionel. Uh, so I'm appreciative of that. Those folks live in Lionel Lakes. So let's see who else is represent. Lake Johanna Fire Department is yeah. coming up. Because again, they all are backing each other up all the time. And you will notice they polish these things so shiny, but there is an age they get to where they can't get as shiny anymore. And that's our classic fire truck here. And now we're going to get on to the Grand Marshals of the parade. So we are very, very happy to have as Grand Marshals the 2021 Manitoba Days Grand Parade, Paul and Susan, Suzanne Hannaful. Now they began the Hannaful Foundation. You may recognize the name as part of the Hannaful Performing Arts Center in the newly designated White Bear Lakes Arts District. And they are the force, one of the forces that make it happen. The center is home to the Children Performing Arts and also Lakeshore Players Theater, which I'm proudly a board member. Their support to make an arts district has had a large role in supporting this community. Also during the pandemic, they've stepped in. They have never hesitated to accept, they did hesitate to accept the honor of yes. being the Grand Marshals when they've never hesitated to step in when we needed them during the pandemic. They humbly prefer to stay out of the spotlight. That's what makes them the perfect choice. We forced them into the parade. <laughs> they are truly a lovely couple for the future of White Bear Lake. Thank you, Paul and Suzanne. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. And following them is the White Bear Drum Line. The White Bear Lake Area High School Drum Line is a musical ambassador for the community. His high energy group is excited to perform for you today. And listen to that. Next, right after that, we have the Volunteer of the Year, Chad O'Leary. Now, this is the clue writer and biology teacher, Chad O'Leary, is White Bear Events Volunteer of the Year. Chad, a White Bear native, was absolutely floored when the Presenters Award, award visited his North Campus classroom. Now, if his name sounds familiar, it could be because for the past 25 years, Chad has devoted a significant amount of time, effort, and talent to researching White Bear Lake and its history to write those creative clues for the Manitou Days medallion hunt. So congratulations, oh, Chad O'Leary, for Volunteer of the Year and Creative <laughs> Writer. Thank you, Chad. Oh. Those clues can be very time consuming. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm saying there might be some people who are having other reactions to Chad's clues when they realize <laughs> what they missed in them. Oh, but they the all one. admire his creativity. <laughs> you're the one that drove me crazy trying exactly. to figure this one out. Well, we have a little bit of a lull now in the parade. And coming up, though, I'm going to give yeah. you forewarning as she comes on camera here. As I think yep, this is going it. to be the case. Yes, yeah. exactly. The button contest winner, McKenna DeHard. DeHardin, you said. DeHardin, De Hardin, right? I believe. Exactly. Yeah, De She's a student at Frasati Catholic Elementary and winner of the 2021 Manitou Days button design for this year's theme, Bears Together. I love that theme. <laughs> it beautiful. sums up how we're feeling right now. We're finally together. We're right? in this together we're in and we've come together. out of it together. Right, this exactly. is great. <laughs> Now, McKenna, it, we're told, drew her inspiration for her design from the brave men and women who have, have and continue to work so hard to keep people in her community safe. Her drawing depicts three bears representing nurses, police officers, and firefighters, all joining paws with blue and red hearts between them. And we want to thank you to Ken, a big thank you to Ken and Sue Peterson and the Johnson Pe Peterson Funeral Home for once again sponsoring the Manitou Days Button Design Contest. McKenna and her family are here tonight with Ken and Sue passing out buttons courtesy of White Bear Events. 
A See, lot of thoughts goes into those little buttons. And, they don't and we just thank walk you for parade. using your creativity, especially this year with the theme, Bears Together. Yep. And they're out there handing them out to everybody, not just riding in the parade. That's great. And That's then great. right after McKenna, we have the White Bear Lake Lions Club World Famous Kazoo Band. <laughs> yes. Oh, I want to hear this. Oh, you have to understand, this is a <laughs> fine tradition. Yeah. White Bear Lake Lions now have been serving our community for 76 years. So they decided this year to rehearse their world famous kazoo band for approximately 76 <laughs> seconds in honor of that anniversary. And let's see if you can tell that they've got 76 seconds worth of rehearsal under their belt. We will sit back and listen to this amazing Okay, we're all ears, band. so make sure that you start blowing those kazoos. Let's and see, are they gonna do it in front of us? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the choreography's great. They got moves with those yeah. kazoos. Oh, what oh, fun. I think they put at least 78 oh, seconds into that and they rehearsal. they did, they did. That was and great. They, they, <laughs> the parade uh, attendees are very happy with that kazoo band. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Well, now we have the uh, White Bear Area Chamber of Commerce, I That's believe. That's right. They, they, they came through with something else. They've decided to uh, help oh, yeah? our community in other ways. So we have next is the Senate District 38 Republicans. Okay. They're the local Republican Party of White Bear Township. Uh, Delwood, North Oaks, Circle Pines, Centerville, Lexington, Hugo, Lionel Lakes, and part of Blaine and part of White Bear Lake. All of that is within Senate District 38. This organization is run entirely by citizen volunteers because politics, like so many things in our community, depends on people donating their time. And we have a Senate District 38 Republicans. Yes, and that's who we have here. All we these have signs are right here. For, okay, uh, gotcha. For Senator Roger Chamberlain and for uh, Donald Raleigh, state Woo! representative in the northern part of that, uh, those communities that I just gave the full list of there. And there's Donald. That's a sharp looking man. And they, oh yeah, it looks like a massive ice cream truck to me, but maybe it's because I'm hungry there. <laughs> You think it's a food truck? You say. I, I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just in that mood, I guess. But I appreciate. It. Hi, Jim, driving it there. Always volunteering for the local Republicans. Proud to be an American is yeah. their slogan. Yep. And next. Next, we have the Medicine Chest Pharmacy and the Polar Bear Store. Now, the Medicine Chest Pharmacy is located right in the heart of downtown White Bear Lake. The store has been in continuous operation, guess this, since 1930, wow. making it one of the city's oldest retail businesses. The owners and staff are proud to serve the loyal community with top-notch customer service and patient care. Medicine Chest is also the home of all things Polar Bear, earning the nickname the Polar Bear Store. <laughs> On the float is a sampling of the concrete statues that can be purchased at the store. Medicine Chest also carries a wide variety of other White Bear Lake merchandise, including apparel, souvenirs, and gifts. Stop by some time and experience the customer service that sets us apart. I yep. see a lot of those white bears around the oh. White Bear Lake er I area. I had a friend from out of town visit and said to me, why are there all these white bears in the lawn? And I said, where do I live? And he said, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> he was not coming real fast on that, but it is a great tradition, and my grandchildren love climbing on the white bears. That's but great. But next we have the Premier Bank. Now, they're proud to be a neighborhood full-service bank. They build local businesses, and they have been serving the community, and they've given back to the community for 46 years right here in White Bear Lake. And it looks like they're giving back with a number of treats right now from Premier Bank. And everybody always wishes they were handing out money. Uh, yeah, well, they, were, yeah. they were hoping those were the treats that they were handing out. But no, every um. year... It yes. never happens. So near and yet so far, you know. <laughs> right, right. The green for the dollar bill sort of image there. <laughs> and here we have Preferred Kitchens, your local kitchen and bathroom remodeling specialist since 1985. And during those years, actually Preferred Kitchens came and did our kitchen. Oh, great. So, yes, I can heartily support them. And this is not a paid ad by any no. means. But uh, they're great people to work with, very creative people, giving you great ideas. And they know where to go to get what you want in your kitchen. 
Well, the kitchen is the heart of the home. It truly and, is, um, yes. That's not just the Italian in me, um, <laughs> where I didn't think my... I was like 10 before I realized my grandpa had a room beyond the kitchen because you walked in the door to the kitchen and you stayed there the whole time. That was a very popular <laughs> design in homes but it, uh, at one time. It was yes. the world now. And of course, now it's all open to the rest of the... Uh, to the rest of the thing. So next we have the Swell Wake Surf. Now this is a local water sports company that's made a name for itself worldwide as the go-to company with the best wake surfing equipment. Now, they're expanding their production into all of boating. So check out Swell Wake, that's Swell Wake, one word, dot com. Keep an eye out in 2022 when they will bring back the White, the Twin Cities Wake Surf Open on White Bear Lake. Oh, that would be fun. Wow. And when yes, they, it's going to happen. Look at that beautiful boat. And look at all the other, the surfing equipment. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, you can hear them coming, the United Marching Band. We've had the Kazoo Bang. Now we have the United Marching Band. It includes 8th and 12th grade students from all middle and high schools in District 622. United into one marching band under the direction of Laura. Lori Bernstrom, John Pavoloni, Aaron Haberman, Big Halston, and Colin Hole. And I hope they'll play in front of us. Yeah. Give a minute here. Let's see. How great they must feel to get back together as a band unit and beautiful. be in a parade. You know how long they've waited for this? Oh, you know, when you think of all the work all the time and having to actually carry your instrument strapped to your body um, it is it is quite impressive and yeah, we have, appreciate them joining the white bear lake Banato days parade yep. and then we have beyond that with the musical accompaniment you'll see a white truck coming up and that is bear roofing and exteriors now here's where i will make my personal pitch bear roofing exteriors owned and operated by locals who've been in the roofing and exterior business for over 20 years uh, it's been their goal to provide homeowners with quality products, excellent workmanship, outstanding customer care, and today they were out at my house working on... You're kidding, Working really? on my new patio and deck. So thank you, Greg, <laughs> appreciate it. Things are looking great in my backyard. I appreciate it. And we have a fire truck. And it is, oh my oh, goodness, it is what I just yeah. had on my script. White Bear Country Inn, Rudy's Red Eye Grill, and Greater White Bear Lake Community Foundation. White Bear Lake's hometown hotel, White Bear Country Inn, featuring the White Bear Event Center and award-winning Rudy's Red Eye Grill and Rudy's Rooftop. Stop by tonight for dinner at the routine, and get a routine, they tell you. Also on the fire truck are board members of the Greater White Bear Lake Community Foundation. Their mission is to inspire philanthropy and enrich the lives of the communities that share the shores of White Bear Lake. And if you look at the uh, the board of directors, I think they've had a few Rudy teenies already. <laughs> so thank you, Bill They're and everybody. An Good awful to see lot you. Of fun. There's no, no doubt about it. And Would now, you... following up on our foundation that's helping our community so much <laughs> in their classic thing, we've got the League of Women Voters next. For the now. The last year was the 100th anniversary of the League of Women Voters, as well as the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage. Now, since the mid-1930s, the League has been providing voter education and informative forums for candidates of all parties for all elective offices to enhance informed voter participation in the White Bear Lake area. Today, the women and the men of the White Bear Lake area, League of Women Voters, serve residents in 32 municipalities, two counties, five school districts, and five legislative districts. They make democracy happen by letting you hear directly from the candidates for all offices in a fair way. Thank Go you, League the League. of Women Voters. This is wonderful. They have the different mottos on what women should be allowed to do. Which women are allowed to do today? I was going to say and allowed is yes, such a such exactly. concept. Exactly. Well, in the past, it was allowed. Yeah, it was Absolutely. Allowed. But look at this beautiful Chevrolet. What oh. do we have here in this <laughs> classic, classic this is, early 70s Chevy? This is the North. Oh, the Chevy here. Well, let's No, see. that's what you have next is. Okay, I have the North Star bus lines. Oh, you yes. do? Yes, here we go. Well, oh, North Star bus lines, American I got you. Oh, look at that. That's, the With League the, of Women Voters has yes. the classic Chevy following the up, classic wearing Chevy. the traditional white of women's suffrage in the 1920s, the yes. right to vote, they pure, on. clean democracy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got so That's distracted right. by the Chevy, I so didn't know they were part of the League. Organization. I thought they were the now next we have unit. North Star <laughs> Bus, American Student Transportation. 
with us, family comes first, they say, and our drivers are family. And listen to this. They are looking for individuals willing to help get students to and from school safe. We provide training and will pay you to get your CDL Class B with school bus and passenger endorsements if needed. Take advantage of flexible scheduling, weekly pay up to $23 an hour, and a generous sign on bonus. North Star Bus Lines and American Student Transportation is family owned and operated since 1963. Now, you can text a number to apply if you're looking into maybe wanting to be a school bus driver. Now, get this number. 484-848, 484-848A, and that will get you an application to join the school bus and become a school bus driver in picking up and delivering our school kids. And again, for that text, I just did it as 48-48-48. So oh, isn't that great? I love it. Thank you. Thank you for simplifying it but for me it. there. I'm looking at a school bus and I see PTO. <laughs> I thought it was parent-teacher organization. Now I realize it's paid time off. So... Uh, I had to get that right, but so, my wife was president of the parent-teacher organization <laughs> when the kids were in elementary school. So okay. I, had, I had a little you bounce back in your mind, to right? my wife's first elective office then <laughs> before she became county commissioner, which segues right into our next unit, which is the Senate District 38 DFL. Again, like the Republicans earlier, all volunteers helping to get the word out in favor of, um, of the candidates that they're supporting. So we have Senate District 38 DFL volunteers giving their time to get the word out to our community. Of course, you see they have the beautiful DFL.org van. You can check DFL.org for more information on the party or how to get involved, or just to find out more about what it really means to be involved in it. But we have the, of course we have Governor Walls, Lieutenant Governor Flanagan, um, we have the Congressman signs. McCollum yeah. sign. But of course, <laughs> most importantly, my wife, the Honorable Commissioner Dr. Victoria Reinhardt, County Commissioner. Also, our local representative, Amy Wozlowick in Northern White Bear Lake and that turning areas. Tina, uh, Tina, I'm sorry, Amy, Wa Amy Wozlowick, Peter Fisher in the other part of White Bear Lake, and the other County Commissioner from the area, Nicole Fretham. And of course, our state, our U.S. Senators, Tina Smith you and Amy <laughs> Klobuchar, the DFL team. Now we have Chica Chisago Lakes Marching Band. The Chisago Lakes High School Wildcat Marching Band is made up of students in 7th to 12th grade from Linston, Chisago City, Center City, Schaefer, Taylor's Falls, Minnesota. Let's listen to them. They are under the direction of Joe DeLisi. It's a beautiful, when you think of all the time and effort that goes into that, it is so beautiful. Oh, yeah. And uh, they, they played for us. This I is know. so good. It I was so it beautiful to that. have that yes. opportunity there. Next, we have the uh, Scouts, the Boy Scouts of America Troop and PAC 434. Now, this organization, the Troop and PAC 434, aimed to prepare our, the Scouts to be servant leaders by providing a fun, inclusive, meaningful, and disciplined Scout program that engages all members. So feel free, join Scouting, get outdoors, find your adventure, and learn life skills that'll carry you through a lifetime. Amen. Once again, you're watching White Bear Lake Manitou Days Parade 2021. We're so glad to be back and glad you could join us in person or on uh, television or even watching the replay as you're watching your friends and neighbors enjoy the parade. Finally, we're back this year. You know, the world changes, but the child's love of a parade will continue forever. There hasn't been any recent candy giving out, has yeah. there? Or have I missed that? Oh, it is beautiful. And um, Cause they look the like band they could gave a little more right concert now. down the road here, and the, <laughs> the scouts waited patiently for their turn because they have those leadership skills, and they are servants of the community, so we thank them oh, for their much. work. Thank you so we much. We applaud the Boy Scouts. Yes. Now we have, coming up behind the Boy Scouts, you'll be seeing in just a moment here, South Shore Trinity Lutheran Church. And I want them to get on camera here before I start talking about <laughs> yeah, them. But right. I see that they are 
No, they're well, they they're getting they have for the volunteers the out front. Yeah, exactly. Still out handing out candy. Okay. This year, South Shore Trinity Lutheran Church is driving their 14-passenger bus. South Shore Trinity Lutheran uses this bus to transport their preschool students to and from school, and also to bring worshipers to and from the 1045 worship service every Sunday. And for more information, contact us, they say, at sstwbl.org. And of course, that stands for South Shore Trinity Lutheran Church. <laughs> South Shore Trinity Lutheran there Winter you go. Lake. Yep. That's great. This airport and is next near we have us. Benson Airport, yeah. of course. Right. You know, named for one of the early flyers out of uh, out of the White Bear Lake, White Bear Township area, back before World War uh, World War II. And we've had the uh, volunteers who work very hard at Benson Field to allow people of all ages to uh, experience small airplanes, classic airplanes, truly the hands-on experience of it. We've got this beautiful classic airplane that goes back Probably a bit. about as far back as we go a back, bit. I think. Um, <laughs> that That is a classic. I've, I've been in a lot. It's beautiful. 47? 1947 airplane. Okay. Now, look at though. They have yeah. cut down those wings. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. those wings would not carry you. Um, so I would assure you that aerodynamics would, would not work with the present wing structure. This is a parade <laughs> plane, It's right? the parade plane. Okay, yeah. But if you, you go, go out to Benson, which is just on Highway 61, a little north of downtown, you could just pull in. Uh, they have... Uh, they have uh, kids flying free with their Young Eagles program, so you can visit them um, at eaa745.org um, for more details. But any 8-year-old to 17-year-old who wants to get a chance to have that first experience, check out Benson Airport. But also just go out and look at the beautiful small planes. The people take care of them, like classic car people like me take care of cars. These are beautiful Piece, works of art to see, yeah. just like I view the classic cars we've seen go by. Beautiful. Works of art. We're so glad they, I love that they brought that in. Yeah. And now we have Sand Law. Now, Sand Law is a personal injury law firm and offices in White Bear Lake, St. Paul, Woodbury, and Minneapolis. Sand Law, real people, real answers, real time. Now, you're an attorney. Yes. So you know what that means. Uh, real people, <laughs> real answers, real time. Uh, yes, it can be um, overwhelming sometimes and a lack of connection. So uh, the, sand, uh, the sand law firm is local. They connect to people. I, of course, am admiring the beautiful Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Um, <laughs> so obviously, they must do uh, personal injury regarding automobiles. <laughs> but that car is so big and solid, they're in great shape in that beautiful classic car. Because my generation likes cars. The younger generation has other, other technologies they like. There you go. The cycle of life. And next, we have the Manito Days Writing Contest winners. So this is the group of future writers. They've been awarded for their Bears Together themed writing pieces. Yeah. Um, I went by earlier and chatted with them. I asked them to correct my grammar that I was afraid, <laughs> you know, and I was had a little discussion about the use of the Oxford comma. Um, and so they are, they are ready to make things clear and more understandable for the next generation. Thank you to our writers winners there. Okay, and now we have the Academy for Sciences and Agriculture K through 12. This is a public charter school for grades K through 12. Engages learners in academically rigorous student-centered, hands-on experiences and leadership opportunities within a science, environmental education and agricultural setting. Located in Vadnais and Little Canada, the Academy for sciences and agriculture, grades K through 12. And what a beautiful, beautiful float. Isn't that great how it's this growing? This is lovely. But yeah, it is amazing that here in the metro we have uh, an agricultural charter school that is as well known and well regarded as that. Exactly. And next for schools, we have Magnuson Christian School, which has been in the parade for many years and is now celebrating 17 years. Congratulations. Congratulations, Magnuson Christian School. It takes a lot to get a school going. It takes a lot more to keep it going. Absolutely. And you can see from the number of volunteers they have, <laughs> they've got the community that's going to keep it going for a long time to come for faith, family, and excellence, their motto. Thank you, Magnuson. Yes. 
and all the people there yep. handing out candy and making the parade goers happy. Well, you this know, is wonderful. there are some things that are a religious experience for everybody, <laughs> regardless of your traditions, and candy is one of those. So, <laughs> Okay, now coming up, you're going to be seeing this big boat here. This is the oh, Bear wow. Boating of White Bear Lake. Wow. Bear Boating of White Bear Lake is a local nonprofit offering free fishing and boating excursions on White Bear Lake for senior citizens and active duty military, veterans and disabled people. Oh, how do we thank White Bear Boating for allowing this to happen? Thank you so much for caring for our senior citizens, our active duty military, veterans and disabled. Thank you so much, Bear Boating of White Bear Lake. And we have, uh, they're carrying a bunch of the leaders of our community here for bear boating. These must be also their um, oh, they've sponsors got some of their here. Officers, their royalty of bear Check boating. Check and Don's, good things. Well, they've got a lot of our local organizations yes. sponsor and support Lions. their wonderful charitable work. And then speaking of a, lo of a great institution here in White Bear Lake, the waters of White Bear Lake. Now it's nestled near Gem Lake and uh, Lakeshore uh, in the Lakeshore neighbors. The Waters is bringing an exceptional senior living experience to White Bear Lake. By combining a sophisticated architectural design with high quality care and amenities, it's a luxurious community. It'll be a place you'll be proud to call home. They offer independent living, assisted living, memory care, whatever your needs are for your family, the Waters is there. And they just had their fifth anniversary. I think I was there for a ribbon cutting last week. Were you really? Um, okay. I was. It's just a beautiful place. Just go in and look at the beautiful of the entryway. You'll see that it's a wonderful residence uh, for people in the, in the phase of life uh, that the Waters has to offer. They are, they are a great uh, resource for the people of White Bear Lake. Well, these uh, senior living yep. areas are beautiful these days. Now we have uh, the Unity One Credit Union. Unity One Credit Union is proud to be a financial resource for the communities that they serve. Uh, I love the fringe oh, on the yeah. bottom of this car. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can make a float any way you can. I think that is so unique. Very creative. Very that creative. Is, yeah. You know, there's that bit of artistry in people. And, and of course, we, our viewers can't quite see it, but our parade goers can. Yeah. But if you get a view of the back, they have boxes and boxes of candy. That wow, look at out. how much. They, like you oh, say, if hats. that, if that were money, uh, but they're, oh, they're doing toys and Frisbees. Oh, Frisbees they're is what they're having. They're truly getting out. happiness oh. for everybody <laughs> without adding calories. That's wonderful. Okay. Well, next we have the St. Paul uh, Clown Club. It wouldn't be a fair without them, a parade oh, yeah. without them. They are an institution formed in 1946. It is the oldest operating clown club in the United States, not just locally. <laughs> 75, this year of 75 years of bringing smiles and laughter to people in parades and events throughout Minnesota. Yes, right here, the longest continuous in the nation, right here locally, our St. Paul Clown Club. You know, a clown, a clown club had to have polka dots on their yeah, car, it's, right? Of course, a polka fine dots tradition. just go along with that, <laughs> right? Now here we have the White Bear Lake Area Educators Teacher of the Year, Kendall Gonzalez. The 21, 2021, 22 White Bear Lake Area Educators Teacher of the Year, who teaches kindergarten at Batasca Elementary School. And congratulations, Kendall! Thank what you an so. What an honor! It's wonderful. It's one of the hardest jobs in the world. And, um, and most my, appreciated jobs I know, now, I'll tell I know. you. My, my dad told us kids, the job where you'll have to work the hardest and get the least respect is a teacher. So my sister became a teacher and now she's a principal. <laughs> but uh, Kendall is you know, an excellent example. And my grandchildren both go to Matoska Elementary. Oh, they do. They love it. Every teacher they've had, they've admired. It's been a wonderful experience. And, and you say Matoska and I say Matoska. It's funny, it's Matoska <laughs> everywhere else. And when they went to the school, they were taught Matoska. Obviously, there's a lot of different traditions, like pronouncing names we have here. You <laughs> oh, know. tomato, tomato. Okay. Exactly. Okay, um, very good. And we have, next we have Maple Tree Pediatric Dentistry. So there's only one way I'm going to pronounce Maple Tree, so I think we got that right. Now this is <laughs> specializing in pediatric dentistry to provide that gentle encouragement in a fun, child-friendly atmosphere. It ensures a fun and relaxing visit for patients. Now, we appreciate the relaxing. If it can get as far as fun for a child going to the dentist, <laughs> they are truly pushing the edge of the envelope. <laughs> Although my eight-year-old granddaughter, when I said, you need to brush your teeth or you'll get a cavity, she says, the drilling doesn't hurt that much. Oh. And I thought, you're willing to do that just to not brush your teeth? So 
Thank you very much, Maple Tree. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, <laughs> yeah. I hear a band coming. And we right now, as you can see on the screen, oh, we yeah. have the Forest Lake Ranger Marching Band. And of course, first we're going to look at a little bit. And here they come. Yeah. They're coming. I can hear them coming around the corner, but I want to tell you about them as they are approaching us. Meanwhile, we're looking at all the fair. Uh, and we had the Tooth Fairy coming through here, apparently. Tooth Fairy. So there's the Tooth Fairy. That's appropriate with the Maple <laughs> Tree Maple Pediatric Tree. Dentistry, <laughs> Thank right? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have the Forest Lake Ranger Marching Band as they're turning the corner. I want to tell you that the Forest Lake Ranger Marching Band is made up of seventh through twelfth grade musicians from the Forest Lake area schools. The drum major, Katie Dubois, and directors, Jack Matheson and Katie Hartman. And we appreciate these leaders and these directors to coordinate 7th through 12th graders to <laughs> present wonderful music, all in coordination and harmony and precision as marching bands have to be. So as they come by, we're going to be giving them a chance to entertain us. And I trust, I see them directing. And any moment, they should burst into music. Let's listen. I love it when the when the drums go by and you can feel it to your bones, right? Oh, I know. Right? It's just beautiful. <laughs> the and when you said earlier, coordinate. Because how you coordinate people that age is beyond my belief. I, I can't, Seven I can't walk and chew gum. That's quite an area. And now for another uh, bit of expression, we have White Bear Center for the Arts. Remember earlier we talked about Hannibal Performing Arts Center, yes. the Arts District. Here's another great anchor of our Arts District, the Center for the Arts. It's an ex They've got an expansion of arts and education for all ages and abilities. The big expanded area will be opening in October, but they're still operating in the old part of the building. It's getting bigger all the time. Again, I, this is my grandchildren's show, but Albert and Polly have been in their classes. They love it. They're inspired. All kinds of visual arts. It's not just painting. It uh, is all visual arts, and it is a superhero type experience because Wonder Woman is part of the artistry <laughs> of White Bear Center for the Arts. So, the children will do their cartoons. They can do their sculpture. They I can. It is amazing. I love it. And the art, I'm very impressed with. Yeah. Very good. Well, now, we have a gentleman here who would like to become the next mayor of White Bear Lake. Lifelong resident, Don Lewismet. Attorney by trade, former park commissioner member, and Curter Charter commission member. Yep. And he would like, he, for mayor of White Bear Lake, yes. Don Lewismet. It's Dan Lewismet. And I would uh, point that out because the other candidate much. is named and Don. And I don't know if I pronounced the, the last name wrong. right. I hope so, I did. Dan, so, I'm so, so but, sorry. Well, yeah, Joe, Joe Emerson <laughs> is retiring as mayor, and Dan Lewismet and the other candidate, Don, Don Mullen, are running. So he's Dan. We've got to keep Dan and Don straight. But next we have the White Bear, Mitsubishi, and Bear Lot. That's White Bear, Mitsubishi, and its sister store, the Bear Lot. They're here with all the new Mitsubishi lineup and some Suzuki ATVs. So let's say hi to the bear that apparently is coming along. Uh, he's with, right down oh, there. Oh, right up there. There's yes, the bear. he's already Went said right hi to me. us. Um, for Mitsubishi. He's in all right those commercials that we yeah. see, right? Mitsubishi, Suzuki, cars, ATVs. If you want to move, you can move with the bear. I love it. I'm seeing what we have. We School of Rock is coming up right now. Oh, the School of Rock? Really, I think they're uh, they're out of order, I believe. Uh, or no, they're part of a... Oh, that's the Minnesotan. 
Oh, the Minnesotan. Oh, that's okay. right. They're Minnesotan Forgive is me. doing the live band School of Rock. Okay, tell yeah. me about it. Village Suburban pulling flatbed trailer with live band from School of Rock. There we have it. I was looking for the Minnesota, but instead right. we have the School of Rock, and they look like they really are getting into it. Right. Let's listen to them. Yes. I would have loved to have had that, that opportunity. That's amazing. Well, I, I walked by earlier young. when yeah. they were parked, and I said, if you can actually stand up and not fall over while playing an <laughs> instrument, you're impressive. But and see, the Minnesota is a local <laughs> store selling Minnesota products. They put their own ad on the back rather than the front. I know. They were featuring School of Rock rather than their own business. The we got to thank them for their generosity. <laughs> now, next, here's my thing. A 1952 Dodge M42 military vehicle. Now, this private collector, Wayne Minky, he collects and restores military vehicles. Now his collection includes this Korean War three quarter ton transport vehicle, but he has many others such as an amphibious weasel and duck, a Jeep, a 212, a, oh, two and a half ton uh, vehicle, a mule, half track, just to name a few. His specialty is military vehicles. My mom was in the Air Force during the Korean era. She was probably transported in that for those who are fighting the battles in Florida where she was stationed during the Korean War. That's wonderful. In the Air Force. That's wonderful. But I, I love cars. I'm a classic car guy. Somebody will do specialties. Getting parts for that is a true challenge. Okay. JP, I'm afraid we're going to have to be quiet now because here comes the St. Paul Winter Carnival Royal Family. Oh, wow. The St. Paul Winter Carnival is the coolest celebration on earth, they tell us, as America's longest-running international festival. Uh, January 2021 marks the 135th year that citizens of this wintry realm proudly celebrate snow and ice throughout the land. The celebration started in 1886, soon after the New York newspaper reported, published a frosty news article proclaiming the city was unfit for human habitation. So undaunted by that expression, hundreds of St. Paul businessmen belted their snow pants and assembled an exhilarating winter festival for all who crave cold weather. So there we have it. We have all the people, Boreas Rex and Darren Johnson, Queen of the Snows, Kristen Knudsen, Prime Minister Joseph Johnson. The royal family also includes seven king guards and four pair of wind princesses and wind princes. I mean, it goes on and on, but bottom line, this is the carnival's royal family. And it is. We've got uh, the Winter Carnival Senior Royalty Alumni Association celebrating 62 years. Bill Berg of Edina Realty sponsoring the current court. We have 2021 King Winter. Um, the 62nd Clayton Miller sponsored by Royal Hour of Carlson Chiropractic Corporation. 2021 King of the Northland. Katie Arbogast sponsored by Royal Hour of Central Minnesota Credit Union. 2021 Princess <laughs> of the Four Winds. Shirley Peterson sponsored by Royal House of Luther West, West Side Volkswagen. The 2021 Prime Minister Sherry Howe. Oh, I know. Uh, Lots to tell the folks. Well, we've also had the Vulcans already went through, I believe. <laughs> I'm afraid they have. But uh, I was we fascinated to Klondike read. Klondike Cates. We have the Royal Order Klondike Cates, Mistresses of Song and Merriment from the St. Paul Winter Carnival, the coolest celebration on earth. Welcome reigning Kate, Shelly Pabst. Uh, the ladies are celebrating their 50th anniversary during the 2021 with a special show this October. Learn more about the show and about the next reigning Klondike Kate by visiting klondikekates.org. I'm exhausted. <laughs> and it's not even done. There's more Winter Carnival stuff. They like, take over a parade when they show up. We have the West Winds float, don't we? have something about West Winds, too? I, I think I, so. I'm sure we do. Oh, yes, we it's have them right there. Yes. Uh, wind, west wind, wind float contest of past west winds ambassadors and family so these are past west winds and they're all going to wave at the camera there there we go yes and they're handing out necklaces we got some beautiful ones here they'll look wonderful on your suit and tie here it's going to be a <laughs> i'll see if it, it clashes at all but you just have got to say between vulcans and carnival and senior royalty and klondike and winds you've got a hundred 
almost a century and a half of mythology <laughs> come to reality right here in White Making Bear Lake. Making winter fun. It is here. And now, not to be related to that, we have Johnson Junk <laughs> Removal. I want to get their phone number. I which do. <laughs> I know my wife would want to find out and just send them into the basement. I call it a collection. She calls it junk. But all of us know as more packages get delivered in the front door, some things need to go out that have been redefined as at the end of their useful life. They will find it. They'll take it to the right place, a locally owned business. They know how to get it. They know how to carry it. And they know where it goes because... Because there is no away to throw it away. <laughs> they know where away is. Just point you, you and they it. will take it, right? Okay, you got it. wonderful. Well, here we have, I believe, and I want to make sure I have it here. Yeah, yes, yeah. it is. Boogie yes, for it Jesus. Yes, it is. It is. Yes. Boogie for Jesus is a, dan is a dance ministry that tries to create a party atmosphere wherever they perform. It features performer and founder, a rap rapper, Lorvin through the use of his four characters of Charismatic, the Godinator, the Entertainer, and God's Pitbull. He has probably entertained over two million people throughout over 180 parades, the Minnesota State Fair, Sunshine Music Festival, along with other events. He takes popular music, cleans up the lyrics, not a bad idea, and then has given over 30 songs with a great message. For parades, he uses a convertible car with strobe light, to find out more, go to boogieforjesus.com. And they even have a personalized license plate, so they're ready. But next we have No Boundaries Gymnastics, a gymnastics club that does recreational gymnastics and competitive gymnastics. It can be for fun, it can be for the award. Let's see them do things I cannot imagine the human body can do, and they have taught these people how to do it. Let's watch the show. Look at all those joints that I cannot imagine <laughs> I ever had. There was a time when we could do that. Uh, I, I don't know if there ever was a time <laughs> I could do that. But they've worked at it. It doesn't just happen. That takes works, hours of works. But they have fun while they're doing the work. We commend them. We commend them. It's unlimited next level, I think, is what's coming next. Yes, unlimited next level. But let's watch the gymnastics first. Well, isn't it fun to be in a parade? Okay, now here we have the Unlimited. Unlimited Next Level. Okay, thank you. It was founded in 2005 under the direction of Mr. Stephen Graham, who passed on June 2012, and we're sorry to read this. Now, however, this team is under the director of Mrs. Denise Cole. It's a drum and dance unit. So now so we'll see I think gymnastics they're getting ready to dance. To perform. Look at this, another, another show. Well, we're coming to the end here. So Can you believe that, it? We have, uh, looks like it's, uh, we are supposed to remind everybody, Explore White Bear Lake coming through, which is to follow Explore White Bear Lake to the beach dance. It's free and easy. And right after the parade is the beach dance at the end of the parade route, everyone. So on behalf of White Bear Events, we hope you enjoyed the 2021 Manito Days Grand Parade. And before we leave, we'd like to acknowledge the following businesses who provided both financial and in-kind support for the Manitou Days Parade. So those parade sponsors are Boy Scouts Troop 434, Ken Galloway, Dick Moonblow, Paul the Plumber, Suburban Community Channels, Bill Weigel Signs, City of White Bear Lake, White Bear Lake Public Works, White Bear Lake Police and Reserves. Last but certainly not least, a big thank you to you, our parade volunteers, and thank Goodbye. you for joining us. I'm Joyce Harley along with 
<laughs> Goodbye and thank you all very much. We had a great time. Hope See you, you did next too. Year. On to the beach dance. Bye bye. That was fun. We, we did it. it. <laughs>